नमस्ते हमेशा खुश हो बेटिया आई एम गिविंग डॉक्टर दिलीप त्रिवेदी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डिसीजेस ऑफ टोमेटो नाउ द वेरी फर्स्ट डिसीज ऑफ टोमेटो व्हिच वी विल बी स्टडीइंग इज अर्ली ब्लाइट ऑफ टोमेटो नाउ एज वी ऑल नो अर्ली ब्लाइट डिसीज इज कॉज्ड बाय ऑल्टरनेरिया सोलोनाइ द सिम्टम्स आर दैट द फ्रूट बिकम्स इंफेक्टेड फ्रॉम द अटैचमेंट ऑफ द स्टेम either in green or in red shape now the on the leaves also there is concentric ring present on the fruit and leaf surface so here you can see and it is surrounded by a yellow halo now the fruit surface appears leathery and there is a velvety mark of black fruit here you can see the fruit and the infection and the fruit drops off and immature fruits are also dropping off so there is a big loss in this disease it's a very common disease which we all are come to know when we see the pit now the pathogen is mycelia mycetic branch light brown and become dark the conidiophores are dark colored and conidia are dark colored deep bond singly and uniform So there are five to ten transfers and two longitudinal septa. Now, this disease is spread by wind and rain stretch. Under dry conditions, this disease can be present in the soil in infected plant debris for about three years. It is also a seed-borne disease. For the management, disease-free seeds should be sown. You know, use the sowing seed soak treatment with Iran 0.2 percent or 30 degrees centigrade for 24 hours is a good treatment, and or with Iran 2 grams per kg is also good protection. Spraying with diphenylethylene 0.2 percent or mentosep at every fortnight, that is 15 days, prevents the spread of disease. Field sanitation is also good because infected plant debris should be removed. Rotation with non-colonial crop is very helpful. The second disease is late blight. The symptoms appear on the leaves, and it appears as pale green, irregular spots on the tip and margin. In moist weather, the tissue turns necrotic to dark brown or black. On the lower surface of the leaf. white downy growth of this fungus can be seen part of the infestations around the dead areas and it is more prevalent in the morning hours now brown streaks appear on the stem and the tomato fruit dark olivaceous gray spots appear now they are in gradually they cover the whole of the fruit surface and rotting of leaves and fruit Take it. So here we see in this photograph, you can see the rotting of the fruit, the leaves, and how badly the infection takes place. As already said, this disease is caused by Phytophthora infestans, and this is a common pathogen for both late blight and of the potato and tomato. Both management practices include crop rotation with non post crops or non pollinated crops and of course potatoes should not be used as a alternate yeah for in crop rotation the drainage of the field should be there and weeds should not be present there infected plant material fruit should be destroyed and before the disease starts one protective spray, spray of mentosep 0.25% followed by metalexin and mentosep 0.25% as a critical stage of disease appearance plus repeated sprays at 10 to 6 days interval is recommended the third disease is tobacco mosaic virus which causes the mosaic disease in tomato sorry this tomato mosaic virus and the symptoms are almost similar to tobacco mosaic disease that is light and dark green mottling on the leaf now this is accompanied by wilting of young leaves and the plant becomes infected 
the leaflets are becoming distorted, puckered, and smaller than normal. So here you can see the leaflets. Now this results in fern-like symptom that means the tomato plant looks like a leaf of a fern plant. And the plant is scented, pale green, and the virus is spread to here is the fruit. You can see the fruit also has a mosaic symptom. The virus is spread by the contact with clothes, hands of the labor, touching infected plants, and then touching the healthy plants, plant debris, and implement. The pathogen is a virus. It is broad shaped, non enveloped, and thermal in activation point is 85 to 90 degrees. Mode of survival and spread is 94% is seed form. And the infection is through transplanting and since it is easily transmissible, so to make other solunicious crops also transmit to disease. Animals and human beings also transmit the disease. A management practice includes disease free healthy plants should be used, soaking of seeds in dry sodium phosphate and disease should be rinsed and dried in shade, nursery, all infected plants should be removed and when the seedlings are infected, they should not be transplanted. Crop rotation should be taken care of. The last disease is leaf curl, that is tomato leaf curl virus. The symptom is the curling of the leaf, severe scenting of the plant with downward rolling and sprinkling of the leaves. Now the emerging leaves, they exhibit slight yellow color and later they are say, curled also. Older leaves become leathery and bitter. The nodes and internodes are slightly reduced in size and the infected plants look pale and give more bushy appearance. So the plant is infected. Here you can see a photograph again of the leaf curl. You can see how the leaf is curled and sprinkled and mottled. So the pathogen is again the virus and mode of spread here. It is infection is present on the seed foot and the virus is transmitted from by white fly, Damisa cavitae, and grafting. Now, a single virus is infect is also able to transmit the virus effectively. How do we manage this disease? We keep the yellow sticky strap to monitor the white fly at the rate of 12 per hectare. Then we raise the barrier crop, which are the cereals around the seed. We also remove the weed hose, protect the nursery in the net house. A greenhouse and spray. Imidacloprid 0.05% or dimethoate 0.05%. At the rate of 15, 25, and 45 days after transplanting to control the vector. So, in this disease, the vector control is a very important part of disease control. So, students, I hope you have liked my lecture of today. And if you have any query, please give in the comment section. I will resolve it soon. This session was powered by Digital Version 2.0 of the Digital 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 Digital